Welcome back to another adventure with Brian and Heather. Outdoors. I'm Heather. I'm Brian. And oh, this adventure is uh, doing some camping over in the East Central UP and some state forest land. Yep, checking some out friends. some new some new state forest campgrounds that we've never been to. Some new lakes. Uh, yeah, it was my 40th birthday, <laughs> so naturally I wanted to go camping with friends, and that's exactly what we did. So. Yeah, got got to the site, got all set up, and while we were waiting for our friends to arrive, since everything now is the first time for everything for Fern, uh, we took her paddle boarding for the first time. <laughs> hey Fern, what do you think? Fern, are you paddle boarding? Are you a natural? Yeah. Yeah, you love it. So I literally just, uh, Put her on the paddleboard, and of course, she did great. She loved being on the paddleboard. She loves the water just in general, which is really awesome. But yeah, I just floated for a long time. It was really nice. It's really peaceful. Uh, the nice part about these state forest lakes and campgrounds, uh, not many people go to them. Well, and they're first come, first serve. Yeah. So if you're planning a trip from really far away and you need to guarantee yourself a site, that isn't a good idea. Yeah. yeah but if you're willing to take kind of whatever is available, may not be a great site, then some of these first come first serve state forest campgrounds are a decent option. Yeah, and I think we went out there on a Thursday night too, didn't we? We took Friday off? I think Probably, we took Friday off, so. Yeah, so better chance of Better chances a site. on a Thursday night, but even the campsite wasn't even, or the campground wasn't full all weekend. It was really quiet, so. Um, we're intentionally not naming exactly where we were because of that reason. We want to try to respect and, and keep it that way, but it's not difficult to get out a map and, and look at your state forest campground options either. So um, for those of you who come at me for gatekeeping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, uh, beautiful lake, super quiet, basically had it all to ourselves and we just spent, spent a good chunk of it floating around, training Fern to be on the paddleboard because of course she needs to be comfortable in the water and on the water, and we want her to be our little adventure buddy, so. Played lots of fetch with her in the water, mm -hmm. just throwing sticks for her and the other dogs. Yeah, yeah, our friends John and Linnea brought Tahoe and Vail, which, you know, Tahoe and Vail has been on many of our adventures on this channel as well. Yeah, so, so far, so good getting along with them. Tahoe just kind of minds his own business in general, and Vail is very playful, so they were having battle of the stick. So, yeah, pretty, pretty low-key. Just lounging, lounging in the water. That very that first night was really nice. There was a lot of fireflies, so I think I got some footage of the fireflies. fireflies. I don't know if it'll show up on the camera, but I'll post that. And then uh, the next day, we had a couple more friends join us, Michelle and Eric, who have been on many of our adventures on this channel as well. And it was another beautiful day. And yeah, warm enough to be in the water. Yeah. Had some little inflatable floaty things <laughs> to... to just sit around in the water for an hour or so, paddle around.
making camp drinks, making camp food, oh, yeah. floating in the water, enjoying the sun, all the great Hiding things. from the bugs. Hiding they from the bugs. They were pretty bad, actually. <laughs> yeah, luckily, uh, John and Linnea brought the their... Tent what are those, clam the, what are those thing? things called? Like a clam, yeah. Clam, but a big one, like the seven-foot diameter. Yeah, one. so that was really key. I mean, I think without that... Well, they also had their camper, too, so we would have just hung out in their camper, but... Or used a lot more DEET. Yeah, a lot of deep does work. <laughs> so, but basically, it not not anything too exciting, we, but just well, there was a little excitement on happened? that on that second night. Oh yeah, <laughs> we were sleeping, you know, sleeping in the tent, and I hear this weird noise not far from us, you know, like you know, fifty feet away, and I'm like, what is that? And then I hear it again, and it sounds like you know, metal bashing together. And I was like, what in the... And then I started to put the piece together. I bet it's a bear. So I... You saw it, though, didn't you? Well, yeah. So I, yeah. I, I realized I'm, I bet this is a bear. And I carefully, you know, have Heather hold firm so she doesn't escape out and cause a problem and get away in the pitch black. But I unzip the tent, stick my head out, and there's this bear <laughs> wrestling the garbage cans, like just, you know, 50 feet away, yeah. looking at me. And then the you know my protective instincts came out and I screamed at the bear. You go away, bear! Get out of here, bear! <laughs> you know, only Which really, everybody only super angry and loud. Yeah. And uh, the bear kind of like did one of these for a second, and then I blinded it with my flashlight, and then it everyone else started yelling and it ran away. But yeah. <laughs> did but, not get footage of that because I was protecting Fern. Yeah. But uh, but I don't I don't really like garbage bears at camp you just you know these a you know, big animal like that i don't i mean they generally black bears run away if you act big and tough and scary which is what we did but you know i i feel like the bears did you that say get, black bear black bears yeah yeah black bears i wouldn't grizzly bears are a different story we don't have those around here i don't i don't want to mess what with is one it of those. what's the saying if it's black fight back if it's brown lay down i, I don't know if, i think that's maybe, how it goes maybe but Black so bear, remember that. You just make Camping yourself look big, be loud, and black bears will generally run away. Yeah. But if they're, you know, they're an apex predator and they, you know, they become conditioned to be with people and garbage and stuff, you just, I just don't trust yeah. them. So I, I really gave it all I had to scare that bear away and it, luckily it worked. Yeah, didn't come back the next night. No, but, but didn't come back the next night. Be prepared at the state forest campgrounds. They're will be bears if there are garbage yeah this not all, not every state campground has like dedicated garbage facilities a lot of it is pack in pack out pack in pack out yeah or but, like just some metal garbage cans in like a little wooden frame corral with some mm -hmm. chains around it just so the bears yeah. can't completely carry it away but they <laughs> Luckily, we're not quite there yet when, in face with danger, our first instinct is to get the camera out and capture it. But maybe someday. Here's hoping. <laughs> All right. Anything else? No, nope, good food. Beautiful lake. Linnea brought uh, candles, and Michelle brought me birthday cake, uh, little Debbies, <laughs> big Debras. <laughs> And stick candle. This is apparently every year I get a stick candle as well. And yeah, my friends take good care of me. Okay, I think it's lit. It's not. <laughs> it is. It's lit. Okay, ready? <sighs> <laughs> Happy birthday! Happy birthday. <laughs> so it was a perfect, perfect birthday, perfect way to uh, ring in my, will this be my fourth decade? 
starting your fifth decade. Yeah. No, it's starting my fourth decade. Zero to ten. So it's 40. Zero to ten. Ten to... Ten to twenty. Twenty to thirty. Thirty to forty. Oh, crap. Yeah, fifth decade starting. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, if you're new here, give us a subscribe. If you're not new here, welcome back. Thanks for coming along. Goodbye. Bye.